millions of lives have been saved by the Global Fund partnership. And now, the Global Fund replenishment is coming around really soon. Communities working together in this partnership have ensured that the human right to health is promoted and people are empowered. Because we know that real change happens when communities lead. My name is Birunji Crystal. I'm an entomologist from Uganda. I work with the Target Malaria Project, but I'm also doing um, a lot of awareness building and advocacy uh, for malaria elimination because it's uh, really a topic that is close to my heart. Some of the most vulnerable people in my country are children under the age of five and pregnant women. These people are heavily, heavily affected by malaria and make up the vast majority of the people that are suffering and dying from malaria. I am a mother myself and my son recently turned five years old. This was a huge, huge moment for me. When I was growing up, one in every three children did not make it to the age of five because of malaria. Before the Global Fund started, that was the statistic. So the reason for health inequity in my country, Uganda, is mostly due to the lack of access. Lack of access to the facilities that would be able to provide this care, where many people have to walk multiple kilometers uh, to be able to access a healthcare facility. But even when they access those healthcare facilities, they're often under-resourced. So one may travel all this distance and still find nothing. Some people will not seek healthcare because of stigmatization, because they're afraid that they'll be stigmatized. So a woman who is uh, positive for HIV, for example, may, may uh, avoid prenatal healthcare because they're afraid of what will happen if their HIV status is revealed. Um, the same thing applies to people from the LGBTQ community because they'll be afraid of prosecution and so they will not seek healthcare. Um, the same thing, again, applies to people like sex workers. And these are some of the major barriers to health equity in Uganda. Um, health equity on a personal level for me means no more preventable deaths of pregnant women and children under the age of five due to malaria. But more than that, health equity means that where you're born does not determine whether you get to live or die. But every human being matters, not who they are, not where they are born, what they have or what their beliefs are. It is the people who matter, the people who make the world that we live in, regardless of location, age, race, sex, or gender. Every single life matters, deserves, and has the right to access healthcare and live a healthy life. Malaria is a disease of the poorest people. It is preventable, it is curable, and it is still killing hundreds of thousands of people every year, of children every year. And I will be frank and say, this is because they're the children of the poor. That is why this disease is still there. And so I would say that if you have a voice, if you have the ability, if you have the funding, is it not our moral obligation to see that people do not die simply because of where they're born? To see that we end a disease that is keeping the world's poorest poor, I believe that the Global Fund could achieve these goals, but we need to fund it. We need to fund it. Without money, they cannot do it. But they have the tools, and they have the will, and they have the systems. It has been proven that the Global Fund works. The Global Fund can do it. We need a fully funded Global Fund to ensure that there are no longer any more health inequities in the world.